Here we are with another Cheetah 3D quick tip. Uh, this is rendering your images or movies out on a transparent background. So here we go. I'm going to use this model of Bender from Futurama that I did quite a while ago just to demonstrate this. So, in my Cheetah document here, so I've got this model that I made. It's a bit of a mess this far because I've been trying a few things out of it over some time um, but we need to go into the camera settings basically so on this one I'm just going to remove that background so this is generally what you've got when you're um, playing around a cheat and you've got your scene or whatever um, you can set your background colour here so I'm um, on the camera and I've just scrolled down in the properties window and our background is set to white I think it's black by default on Cheetah um, so you can change the colour of your background here to whatever you want it to be use the use the crayons or use the colour picker or whatever you can pick what you want basically and it will show here if you want to render on transparent all you've got to do is drag this opacity bar to zero that is it hit the render button I'm rendering this out massive aren't I yeah still shouldn't take too long it's a nice uh, simple model here we go it's coming through you can't really tell that it's on the transparent background there and you've got to be sure that you save it out as a file that can deal with transparency so if you save that as a JPEG it's not going to work, JPEGs don't have transparency so what you need to do when you save your image is make sure you save as a TIFF so we'll save that as a TIFF uh, we'll save it as test, my desktop's an absolute mess there and I'm going to go to my desktop, which is probably not going to show me because it's all that. There we go. Uh, there's our model on our transparent background. So, what we can do with that then is open that in Photoshop and possibly put in a Future Armor background, something like that. Um, you could always use a Future Armor background inside Cheetah. You could always just load an image in, hitting load here, finding the image and whatever you want, putting that in there. I don't do that because Photoshop gives you a lot more control for this kind of thing. Um, if you render the elements out separately, so you've got your model there, you can throw it on in Photoshop, you can then blur your background in Photoshop, you can change the colours, basically you've got a lot more control. So I hope that's helped you and that is it for this one. So thanks for watching guys and I will see you soon.